Yo, what's going on guys, it's Deku back on the Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Now, you guys know what time it is, it's Football Outsiders time. So we got some new Football Outsiders cards in packs right now. So we are going to go ahead and check those out. I mean, up first, we got the boy Quentin Dunbar for the Washington Redskins. Coming in with an 84 overall, 90 speed, 90 excel, 87 press, 87 man coverage, 86 zone coverage. Not too high on this card, it doesn't look like it really specializes in anything. Could be a solid card to pull and you know, maybe a pack and play series. But with that being said, let's hop to the next card. 84 overall, Chris Boswell. Now the Steelers had some kicker issues earlier this season. And I mean, I've, I've got no idea how this guy's been doing, but I guess good enough to get a football outsider's card is he has a 96 kick power and an 87 kick accuracy. Up next, we have this 89 right in coming in. Big Cliff. For the Seattle Seahawks, I like this guy when he was in Detroit. I thought he would be a fantastic signing for whatever team, you know, picked him up. And it just so happens one of the best defensive teams in the league got a hold of this beast and he continued his monstrous ways. Now, Cliff comes in with the 85 speed, 83 power move, 93 excel, okay. And 96 finesse move. So this guy is kind of like your somewhat prototypical 4-3 pass rusher. Now, I really wish, like, in Mutt, they would pay more attention to, like, you know, the arm sleeves and the accessories and, you know, just maybe make a point to get the accessory. Like, I know there's bigger problems in the game than what people are wearing, but, I mean, I just think, oh, gosh, yo, Abdullah, 83 speed, are you kidding me? I, this guy's not going to be on my team. You know, like I said earlier, there are some cards that would be cool for, hint, hint, a packet play series, but... 83 speed, I don't even know. He might not even crack the... <laughs> Let me chill. Okay, so he comes in 83 speed, 90 excel, 87 zone coverage. You know, that's pretty solid. 82 play rec, 85 pursuit, 80 hit power. Kind of confused on how this is an elite card with, you know, just so few ratings that are good. You know, maybe I'm missing the big pick. His awareness is low, too. You know, I thought that might have been something that would jump his overall up. Honestly, who am I kidding? The overall in Madden, the overalls in Mud at least, they seem to be completely random. So to top things off, we got Josh sitting coming in with the 94 overall. I think I pulled one of his better cards last year. I think I actually pulled two of them. I think I got it out. I don't remember what pack I got it out of, but I pulled them, damn it. Josh sit 93 strength, 97 pass block, 90 run block, and a 90 impact block. Now I'm not sure why the card is so expensive. I mean, I know it looks nice and it's a very good card. But seriously, who is buying sitting for that price that he's up for right now? Anyways, I I've said enough. Let's go ahead and hop into the pack. Let's get it, man. We just gonna hop into these pro packs and see how lucky we can get today. You guys know. I am still waiting on my epic pull as we start this pack opening. Pulling a Zane Beals. I'm still waiting for, you know, just my Legends pull. Yeah, out of any type of pack. Hey, okay, well, except as we get EJ Manuel. Are you serious? I probably could not have started this pack opening any worse. What I'm trying to say is I've just been waiting to pull a legend for so long and you know I feel like I'm a good person I, okay I'm sure everybody that's like anybody says well yeah you know I feel like I'm a good person but you guys see right here we get Captain Munnerland Jarrell Jernigan okay so obviously being a good person does not get you good packs we're continuing we get Jacob Tamia Preston Parker and still no sight of an epic pull. Okay, enough of these packs. Since the pro packs really weren't talking about anything, I decided why not? Why not close this pack opening with three superlative packs? Now, my superlative pack I opened earlier, it was actually a pretty decent pull. So, right there, we get Michael Brockers and we get the superlative collectible. Best red zone target. Now, <laughs> I think you need 10 collectibles to get like one elite superlative player. I know I did a video on it earlier. I 
don't remember. You guys know my memory is really bad. So I'm not too geeked about pulling that one collectible. It's right here. We get another superlative collectible. And all right, we got one more pack left. One more chance to be great. Let's close this out strong. Okay, here we go. Who is that? I, I've never heard of that guy before in my life. Zane Beatles. And oh, Doriel Green Beckham. Okay. So I actually don't think Beckham goes for too much. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Please, let me be wrong. I'm, oh gosh, if I'm wrong, that'd be great. But I hope you guys enjoyed the quick pack opening. Much more Madden 16 Ultimate Team coming out soon. Be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Deku. Like I said, much more coming soon. And time out. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Deku back again bringing you guys some more Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Now you guys see man, today we got a new promo. Now we got the Madden Superlatives on the screen and we're starting off now. Okay, let me let me explain. The Madden Superlatives, what it, what it pretty much is, is it's just like this big random promo. I'm pretty sure it was like community vote on some things and 